I'm going to accept what you said about uh, men needing women or needing your vagina. I'm going to accept that. Now, that's fair. I, I think that's very fair. So I'm going to ask you, Ali, this time. What use does the world have for a man that doesn't work and doesn't produce? A man that doesn't work or produce, what does that have to do with equating it the, to the world? Does the world have use of him or, or no? Okay, so wait, so wait, so wait. Let me say this. So you're trying to say, because you want me to answer, and my answer is a little bit not yes, uh, like that, okay? So you're saying that men are supposed to work. If they don't, then they're probably useless. So why can't women work? Oh, our only thing is to give birth. We're not even seen as workers now. You're, you're making a lot of assumptions. I haven't said it. anything. I'm just Let's asking questions. You're implying, and I'm an intelligent being. You don't have to say things to imply, baby. I'm just asking questions. No, I'm saying, so you're basically saying if a man don't work, he ain't worth shit. No, so no, I'm asking. I'm asking. So a woman's worth can be a multitude of things. I so think you won't even answer? So, so do you see worth in a man that doesn't work and doesn't produce? Do you see do you see worth in a woman that doesn't produce children? Like I, I don't I, I, I unless she is um dedicated her life to her family, then no, I don't see any worth in that woman. Okay, and that's the answer. So you don't see any worth in a man that doesn't produce. That doesn't. Or are you just basing your answer off of I what see he's worth? Saying? Let me tell you something. I see worth in every individual. I see worth in a crackhead. I can learn something from a dummy. <laughs> I can learn something from a dummy and I'm not too ignorant and too high on my horse to re think that I'm above anybody. That's why I speak on these topics. I don't live in a hood. I don't know who the people are hardly, but I'm still speak on it. Jesus so Christ. Help a Lord. Help a Lord. Help Come you, on, baby. Now. I don't know so, who you so are. This, this, but, 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 you know, ultimately my point is that we all have a role that we got to accept. We all have a biological imperative. Let's be real. Most men can have kids. Most women can have kids. And that's what you are aiming to do. Now, my point on this, especially when it comes to women, is that the point that Andrea was making about not all women need to be married and whoopie whoop. We got to start keeping that on the hush. That's what everybody else does in their respective culture. We don't really talk about the people who are, what is, it, what is it called, spinsters and the people who don't desire to be married. Because remember, marriage is for y'all. It ain't for us. It, it, regardless, if you want to be married within the legal institution of marriage, most women, all, damn near all of you, want companionship and exclusivity from the man that's stabbing your box raw. Okay? Like, what, what else are we talking about? You're going to want an exclusivity contract from you? that man or woman. What about you? You don't want that? You think men don't want that? I'm married. I'm I'm, I'm done. I'm out the game. Why are you yeah, assuming men as a whole? You think oh. men don't want a marriage because men live no, longer they, in marriage. No. no men it, it, live it, longer it, in marriages okay. and they benefit over a woman. We die when we get married. W marriage is for you. We do marriage for our kids. I mean, sake. live look at we, you we and our kids. Sake. Lifespans. I'm not trying to say married women are gonna die, but we do have shorter lifespans. Married so, women don't yeah. live as long as single, yeah. single I'm, women. I'm not arguing. I mean, I'm not um um arguing with that. What I'm saying is, men don't sit around the sandbox saying, "I can't wait to be a husband one day." We find a woman that's so deserving that we can honor with that title because we we got to give it to her. That's how we want to restore and maintain mm -hmm. her virtue by putting a ring on her finger. And when so she has our children, it. you don't want to do it. But we yeah, force you to she has you our choice. That's not what he said. That's yeah. not what he said. No, it's not what he said that we find a woman that you can't help but to want to marry. Help her. but meaning like what, what I mean, mean is that means that that means that the type of woman that we find, she is so damn desirable, she is so yeah. damn helpful, she is so damn everything that you say, I cannot be with this woman and not put a ring on her finger. That's yeah. our that's what we that's how we feel. We like he said, we don't sit around a, and talk about marriage in the same sense that women do. We find good women, and that we who finds a good woman finds a wife. The good woman comes first. We don't say he who wants to be married finds a wife. We say he who finds a good woman finds a wife. And with that being said, Trigger Mike, I get you, bro. He, I we we understand, bro. He was not asking that question. On, Paris, he was not, he was not asking that question to be disrespectful. He was asking it for clarity. And I, and I was so, and I was actually, we, and, I, and, and the thing is, and the thing, hold on, wait, Ali. And the thing is, and the thing is, is that I'm glad that he asked it because when we were discussing the degenerates in our community earlier, and you were talking about how there are no good men out there, 
a few shows ago, a few shows ago, and then today, and then today, you were talking about that. Um, our community is filled with a bunch of uh degenerates, and we're going down, and we're at, uh, and it's genocide on our community. And I said, it I don't, think, I, and I said, I don't think majority black men, majority of the black men in that community are not criminals. And you said, yes, uh, how are they not? And how do you, it's how ass. do you, and how do you find that not offensive? To sit there and look at black men and look at a community and say all of Because I open my eyes and I'm offended by it too. I'm not saying it out of a place of, oh, but it's not down. true. Wait, Sweeney, it no, is wait, true. Wait, 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 wait. Right here. Black I, I, was, man, I wasn't done. Here it is I wasn't right done. Here. I wasn't done. Majority of black men are not criminals. Yes, they are. Oh, I didn't say that, oh, but I said just, the just, 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 just did it again. Yeah. She just did it again. <laughs> But I have to respond to that. Uh, <laughs> oh, you can't you make this shit up. Now. I didn't say, first of all, I never said that the majority <laughs> of are I said there are lots of criminals. Every race has criminals, but when we I, have too many of them. We have an influx. I, it so actually say, says, hold so up. When I say hold a majority up. of black men are not hold criminals, up, sweetie. I'm, I'm going to say what I said. You're not going to put words you in my mouth. You just said I'm going to say, I said the majority, yes, it says I said black majority men. of black men are not Shut criminals. Up. I'm going to say, yes, say what are. I said. You're not going to put words in my mouth. Black <laughs> men are especially likely to be in prison. What does that have to there do with the majority are, of black there men? Are, how do you qualify especially? Whatever, whatever. How do you no, know, you said they're you, especially likely. It doesn't mean, mean a majority of black right men are right criminals. Right oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Let me get Paris on to get a reset. Go ahead, Paris. This is why you um have to be careful with misinformation because we know that there's a such thing of the crime bill. We know that statistically black men are typically in prison approximately seven times more than the average male so even with us knowing that black men have the likelihood of going to prison one in three black men you encounter will have a criminal record and it is despairingly subjugated to a large biases it's not because they're actually criminals and we proved that when we told you guys earlier that majority of every crime minus one white men lead in so because black men are overfilling the prison but white men actually lead in every crime except robbery that should go to show you right there that the rates that black men are in prison are astronomically wrong so even when we're looking at the data and things like that i personally i don't have a ill thought about black men i don't wake up and think oh they're poisonous to us they're oppressive pressing us they're trying to hinder us they're trying to bring us down no i treat bad apples like the bad apple if i see a person that i know that appears to be a, a robber or appears to be a threat to me i don't look at that and go oh that's all black men that's how black men are no it's like i know that majority of black men are regular standard individuals who just go to work and trying to make it home but when we have these ideologies it's harmful, just like Mr. Lego. I never sit here and stand with him saying that all black women have baby daddies. That's not true. I'm a black woman who is well over 20. Well, hold on. I ain't even 30 yet, but I ain't got no kids. You know, I, I don't have no no ill gotten uh, degenerate behavior. I'm not outside at the club every weekend and I make damn good money. You know, but when we're talking about this individualistic mentality if the ideology is where we're moving to which you can't negate it black women are not having children no more like that's just not a thing the rate that we're we're going black women have stopped having the highest increase of teen pregnancies black women have stopped having babies at a substantially slower rate than everybody else at this very moment moment in time to the point where our population actually decreased two percent and then when it comes to black men Black men are actually not incarcerated at such a high rate. Their incarceration rate has went down. Their education rate has went up. Their financial rate is still going up. So it's like we're fighting with these words and we're playing word gymnastics off of these biases, off of the gender war that we shouldn't even be having. Like when you sit here and listen to this, you should not be thinking about your own culture and race in such a poisonous mind state. 